For this second example, I got a request by the BIM manager to show the whole building as a single building layer that can be published so the client can view the progress. Because in this case, we have two files, one for the architectural and the other one for the structural, we'll need to go through the process of using the GP tool. So the first step is open the geoprocessing tool BIM file to geodatabase. On the input BIM file workspace, we're going to select all the two files. So we're going to select the structure and the architecture. The output, in this case, I'm just leaving the default. The data set, I rename it to something that makes sense to me. In this game, I named the data set based on the contract ID. Uh, for the special reference, I imported the PRJ from the architecture model. And for the identifier, this field is optional. So in my case, because this is the 50% deliverable, I was just gonna use that as an identifier. And just click run. Now that we have the data set that combines multiple B models, we need to create a building layer. In this case, we're gonna use a different GP tool. We're gonna use make building layer. So first we open a local scene or a global. For the input feature data sets, I'm gonna browse to the data set that I created on my prior steps. And for the output layer, I just gonna give them the name of the data set. In this case, the contract. I just hit run. Now we have created a building layer that I can then use as an input to create a building scene layer package.